YouTubers, what's going on? I got a quick video today. Not gonna make it a long one. I am not feeling 100% great right now. I've got a nasty head cold. But I just got this in the mail and I thought, you know what, I need to share it. Because it's a cool, it's a Microtech, as you can see. And if you look here on the back, you see Ultratech Double Edge Tri Grip SL. What does the SL stand for? That's weird. Let's take a look see at it. Looks like just a regular black ultra tech. One of the tri grips with the black hardware. Then you deploy the blade and you're like, red. That's sweet. A little red Cerakote on there. Coating. If you look a little closer, it says what? SL. What does that stand for? And one in January of this year. And this is actually has a serial number here. 168. They made 200 of these editions, and they are the Sith Lord. Yes, that is right. Sith Lord, as in Star Wars. As in, this looks like a flippin' Darth Vader, Kylo Ren. We'll call it Darth Vader, because I don't know how crazy one's coming on the side. You know, um, Ultra Tech. Pretty freaking cool, guys. They are doing a limited run of these. They also have a few other editions. If you look at the hardware, it's custom, and it looks like Kylo Ren's helmet. It's so flippin' cool. Look at this, the, the the glass breaker does have the same kind of markings on it. Looks a lot like Kylo Ren's helmet. Really, really cool. And it does say SL for Sith Lord. Now, I don't know these are technically officially licensed with Star Wars. I think that's why they're kind of doing them, you know, pretty... Not You know, there's no Star Wars logos anywhere. There's really nothing that says Star Wars. SL, you know, it doesn't say Sith Lord even. It even has a logo there on the uh, button there. So, really cool. The, the new tri-grips are cool in, them, in themselves, guys. But this, with that red blade, it literally is like a lightsaber. If you ever wanted to own a real lightsaber, you know, besides the plastic ones, it's, you know, this is about as close as you're going to get. Pocket lightsaber. Pretty freaking awesome. That red coating is amazing. It is a double-edge dagger stub blade. Is what I had in my previous Ultra Tech. The action on these new ones is so much better than the old ones. It's so much easier to deploy. The uh, UTX 185 that I have, um, this feels just like that, really. The action is just so much better on these new Ultra Techs than the uh, old ones. The, the grip's really nice. It's really grippy. Um, but these extra touches, guys, you wouldn't really notice that, you know, if you didn't know that this is a special edition. So that that looks like Kyle Ren's helmet. The hardware does. Get the red blade the SL on there. Limited run of 200 pieces. So they are very, very difficult to find. I know that Blade HQ actually had some. That, they didn't even tout it really as a Sith Lord. They just, here's these black um, Ultra Tech with a red blade. I'm like, well, that's pretty cool. And I almost bought one. But uh, very, very limited run. Uh, the dealer I bought this from, PV, PVK Knives, I believe, out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, the card was in the box. It's not anymore. Um, they're out now. And I, I know they're making little chunks of these, so there's only 200 made. So there, if you want one of these, um, I would take a look at you know a few dealers. But there's also a group on Facebook called Microholics, I believe. It's a private group. Um, you'll have to request membership. But there's a few vendors on there selling these. Now I want to do a video with the other one that I have coming. It's the Stormtrooper edition. It is white with a with black hardware and a white Cerakoted blade, which is so cool. But that, there's a little bit of delay, uh, hasn't shipped yet, it will be shipping soon, so I'll do a separate video on the uh, Stormtrooper version. And I've heard through the grapevine that they're making a um, Jedi version with a blue blade, and a uh, Yoda version with a green blade, and a Boba Fett version um, with like a distressed green handle. And I'm not sure what the blade's going to be like on that. No, nothing, no pictures or anything out of those, just what I've heard through the grapevine, so... So stinking cool, guys. Um, if you're a Star Wars nerd like me, and you're you like old out the fronts and you like Microtech, you know they make the best out the front of the business. Um, these are kind of a must-have. Now this actually may be a safe queen. I don't know that I'll actually carry and use this knife just because it has serious collectability to it, and it's just that cool. Probably one I have in the house to play with. Don't know what I'll actually use. I don't have very many safe queens. I'm not really a safe queen kind of guy. But this one may be an exception as well as the Stormtrooper. So as soon as I get that Stormtrooper Ultra Tech in, I will do a separate video um, on this knife. But these are exceptionally awesome. <laughs> That's the only way I can put it. 
Um, they didn't mark this blade. It's pretty sterile, obviously, because of the Cerakote on there. I do believe they're running LMAX steel on these. That's what they've been running on all the Ultra Techs lately in the UTX-85. Um, again, tri-grip. Now, this Stormtrooper will not be tri-grip. It's going to be a flat handle. So, But I'm 99% sure it has a new button, and it actually has like an Imperial symbol. It's going to be sweet. So I want to do a combo video, but we'll just do two short videos on these guys. Super cool. Sith Lord Edition, Microtech Ultratech. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.